Welcome back, Rich Minds. This your boy, Reno, coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be you the black sheep. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for the people in the back. You, yes, you, you the black sheep. Now, let me explain what the black sheep mean, right? The black sheep means simply the individual who stands out from everybody else, right? The black sheep is only the person who, do, who decides to do everything else different. The black sheep is the individual who don't want no problem with nobody. You don't want to cause no trouble with nobody. But all you simply saying is, look, I'm different. I do it this way. I don't do it that way. Right. I do it this way. I, I'm not doing it the way that y'all want me to do it. Look, I could still be a part of y'all. But if y'all don't want me to, so be it. Fine. But see, I, I got to tell you this. I got to tell you this. See, it's hard to fit in when you stand out. Yes, sir. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. It's hard to fit in when you stand out. And today, if you're watching me right now, you are the black sheep. And if any one of these resonate with you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So I need y'all to tune in, tune in, tune in. All right, so number one, everybody is envious of you. Yes, sir. It don't matter how you do it, what you do, where you go, everybody is envious of you. And see, simply it's because of what you have inside you. When you the black sheep, it's just something different about you. You move different. And like I said earlier in the video, y'all, it's hard to fit in when you stand out. You Most time they treat you like the outcast, right? Most time they treat you like the person who is not one of them. Man, you ain't, you ain't like us, bro. You can't hang out with us. Or you ain't like us, girl. You can't, you can't hang out with us. Right, you get that, you get those type of vibes, you get that type of energy simply because you just a different soul. You not like them. You got a different type of spirit. You the black sheep. You you decide to go left when everybody else go right. You decide to go right when everybody else decide to go left. You ain't trying to be difficult, but you simply the black sheep. You saying, look, bro, I understand that y'all make y'all sandwich this way, but I'm gonna make my sandwich that this way. Right, y'all, y'all make y'all sounds that way. I'm gonna make mine this way. So what I'm saying is, is that as the black sheep, you gon' you're gonna decide to do different things differently, and people are gonna be envious of you for that. Right. So you gotta you gotta be mindful of those who come inside your circle. Mindful of those of who you are around. It don't matter what it is. Like it, you can be simply going to school. You can just be going to school and you go inside the class. And I'm talking about the worst of the worst person. The worst of the worst person inside the class, you triumph all that. Why? Because they are envious of you. They'll take a person who they they don't got no clothes, no shoes, breath stink, or the whole nine. And then you walk in, you looking fresh, you doing what you do, but they decide to take the attention off of this person and put it all on you. Why? Because they envy you. They envy you. They want to see you down. They want to see you bad, busted, and disgusted. I'm telling you, when a person is envious of you, it's, see... Jealousy and envy is different. I spoke on this in one of my other videos. Jealousy is when a person don't want you to have a, a, some possessions, right? It's love and hate. But when a person envy you, they simply just hate. They hate who you are. They hate your being. And as the black sheep, people just envious of you for no reason. So I need y'all to be aware of that, man. You, it can be on a job. You can be on a job. You can be anywhere. People are going to be envious of you when you're the black sheep. Again, it's hard to fit in when you stand out, especially naturally. All right. Number two, they find flaws in your gift. Yes, sir. They find flaws in your gift. So maybe you are a great, a great dancer, great singer, or whatever the case is. Let's just say you a singer and you always sing at church, right? You always sing at church or you sing at school and people seem to find the times when you messed up, maybe your voice cracked a little bit, but they know you talented, they know you gifted, but they find flaws in your gift, right? They find flaws in whatever you're doing. Like, you got to understand, when you the black sheep, they're looking for that wrong thing that you do. They just looking for it. It's just like celebrities. It's just like celebrities. Quite often, y'all, if y'all want to be honest, celebrities are the black sheep as well. And I'm going to explain that. All right, so some a lot of celebrities, right? Mostly all of them. They love by a lot of people, okay? But that same love that they have from people, they have that they have just as much or probably more hate from everybody else around. Okay? When you see a celebrity, you like, man, that's what's up. But you don't think that a celebrity go through ridiculing, they don't go through persecution, they don't go through hate, envy, 
because simply they, they decided to get, they decided, right, to get up their ass and make something happen. They decided to make, to make their dreams come true. See, the difference between that type of person who decided to make something happen and another person who decided to watch the other person who, who decided to make it happen is that one person put action in and the other person just stood there. They sat there and let life get away from them. And that's why a lot of people be mad at celebrities. So what, what are you saying, Reno? What I'm saying is, is that they can be considered the black sheep too because people are what, envious of them? And number two, they're trying to find flaws in what they do. I heard TDJ say something like, Whatever that gift that brought you to prominence, meaning that gift that brought you to fame, right, and fortune, that same gift can get you hated when people find out that, oh, you got problems just like me. But what I always tell y'all, there's none perfect. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is 100% perfect. Now, we can get the excellence. We can do something excellent, but we, it, there's no way possible we can do something perfect. There's no way possible we can be perfect because we're, there's no human being that's perfect. Right? So what I'm saying is this right here. When a person finds flaws in your gift, that very thing that's beautiful, that very thing that's great, and, and yeah, you probably made a mistake, but it's overall, you got a 92. You got a 95. And when they still find flaws in something that's good, that's, that's simply because you're the black sheep. That's simply because you're the black sheep. Like, when you look at a Rolls Royce or a Maybach, how can you look at it and say, this is an ugly cop? It's a, it's a Maybach. It's a Rolls Royce. And that's the same thing with your gift. Your gift is a Lamborghini. It's, and I get it. Everybody got their own preference. Everybody got their own preference. But at the end of the day, when, a, when you find flaws in something that you know that's good, that, that you know that's great, I understand it. Like, okay, cool. Give you constructive criticism. Okay, but end it up with something positive. But when you start talking about, man, I just don't like it. And you don't, you don't even have a reason to not like it. That's simply envy. And it's clarification that you're the black sheep. All right. So number three, they don't expect you to win. Yes, sir. What does that, what does that mean, Reno? When a person don't expect for you to win, you probably was that, you probably was that sibling who went to prison. You done did four, five years. Okay. You done did about four, five years. You done did some time in the penitentiary. You probably didn't graduate school. You don't even got your GED or you probably, that's all you got is your GED. So they don't expect for you to go to the next level and get that PhD, to get that bachelor's, to get that associate's, to get that master's. Who, who are you to go get some education? You ain't even graduated high school. You ain't even got your GED. Right? Or you don't went to prison. You don't you don't you don't went to prison and you do you done did five years, ten years. Who are you to want to have more out of life? I'm I'm so much further ahead of you. You the black sheep. They don't expect for you to win. They don't expect for you to get get out that slump. See, what I hate, what I I'm not gonna say hate, because that's a powerful word, but what I can't stand about people is when they decide to remind a person of their past instead of direct them to their future. Yes, sir. I'm talking heavy tonight, y'all. Look, when a person is reminding me of my, me, me personally, when they're reminding me of my past, all that tells me is that you know you can't go. <laughs> you know you can't go with me. You know you're not destined to go to my destination. You know. You know it's only for me. So when a person start reminding you of your past, it's simply because they know they can't go. Everybody can't go and they know that. They understand that. They have a great understanding on the fact that they can't go. And so what, what happens is, since they, since they can't go, they don't want you to go. But that's not how it go. See, it's destined for you to win. But they don't expect for you to win. Right? So I need y'all to understand something. When a person is reminding you of your past and trying to get you, and, and, and instead of directing you to your future, that simply is them trying to get you to stay where you are. Right. But you got to you got to evolve your mind. You got to evolve your physical. You got to evolve your spiritual. You got to evolve change because they're going to stay. They're going to stay the same. People who ain't going nowhere want you to go with them. people who ain't doing that and want you to do it with them. So you got to be mindful and understand that you are the black sheep. And matter of fact, if this resonates with you, make sure you comment in the comments below and say, I'm the black sheep. Yes, sir. I know I'm talking to somebody. Y'all make sure y'all come in and say, I'm the black sheep in the comments. All right. So number four, your uniqueness make you different. All right. So let's just say 
everybody. <clears throat> Number four, your uniqueness make you different. Yes, sir. Let me say that one more time. Your uniqueness make you different. So what, what is that, Reno? What you mean by that? All right, let's just say everybody in the family was born with black hair and you come out with red hair, all right? And they start making jokes, start saying, I don't know, you, you ain't no related to me. Uh, you, ain't, you ain't my brother, you ain't my sister. Your uniqueness made you different. In actuality, they wish that it was them with the red hair. But since they all look alike and you are different, they treat you like the black sheep. For instance, y'all ever seen the y'all seen the movie with Cinderella? I think Cinderella was either adopted or her dad was uh, married to that uh, mother, right? To her stepmother, and she had two stepsisters, and they wanted to catch the attention of Prince Charming. Prince Charming bypassed them. There was the same. There was negative, right? Nagging. There was. It, it don't matter how much they tried to show that they were so different. He seen that they was all the same. But then look at Cinderella. She had the looks. Right, she she was positive. She had she had the good energy the whole nine. He went directly to Cinderella. Okay, so what happened to her? her uniqueness made her different. He seen that she was unique, and they treated Cinderella like trash. She was scrubbing the flows, right? She was scrubbing, you know, cleaning up, and that was treated like royalty. What am I saying? Your uniqueness make you different, and they can't stand that. See, Cinderella was the black sheep, and that's equivalent to you. You got to understand that. All right, so number five, it's gonna be this one right here, man. And I touched on this, I touched on this earlier in the video, but I want to say this: you are destined to win. Let me say this: God will take a nobody, turn them into a somebody, and bless them in front of everybody. Yes, sir. So what that means is God will take the homeless man out the street, turn them into a businessman, and bless them with millions in front of everybody. Okay, that's exactly how it works. Just because a person start right here doesn't mean they can't get right here. Just because a person didn't have as much and they grew up less fortunate doesn't mean that they won't they won't never see fortune. It doesn't mean that. And that's the same thing with you. See, they look at the homeless man on the street and think that they better than him. But see, I don't think I'm no better than a homeless man on the street. Because you got to treat the CEO like the janitor and treat the janitor like the CEO. Everybody get the same treatment. You don't know who going to be who. And that's you. See, they don't know exactly who you're going to be. They thought that you were still going to be the person in the little back, in the back room. That little person in the back room playing video games. No. You finna own the business now. Yes, sir. You about to be a court. You about to be top of corporate now. No, you you want you about to do something great in life, and they don't understand that. So what they do is they treat you like the black sheep, and they hope that you don't maintain that confidence, or they hope that you are so insecure to where you can't even see who you are on the inside. God will take a nobody, turn them into a somebody, and bless them in front of everybody. That's what they'll do for the black sheep, and you are the black sheep. So look, if any one of these resonated with y'all, y'all already know what to do, man. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? And join the community. You can get my books, uh, Rich Mentality, Fairly Unequal, Traumatized by Love, as well as Eight Steps to Self-Publishing, a successful book. And once you join that community, you can get those books off for 30% off, as well as getting an exclusive video Ask me a question and I'll do a video just for you and a monthly patron shout out. And look, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace.